Hey guys, it's me Troy Dellinger, and this is going to be a video about um, Labor, Labor Day and works, and it's a, continu a, a continuation of a previous video I did which talks about uh, good works for God, uh, doing uh, works, and you know there are many Bible verses that talk about you know doing works for God and doing good works. Um, It says in Titus 3 8, this is a faithful saying, and these things I will that thou affirm constantly that they which have believed, and God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto, profitable unto men. Okay, so, you know, I talked about in my last video how obviously doing good works um, to God is important, and this is, this involves many different types of works. This is stuff like ministry work, uh, taking care of the poor preaching the gospel, uh, praying for people, fasting, um, really, it, it can, it can apply to a lot of things, um, but, yeah, those are, those are examples of work, and now I'm going to be talking about just basically things like, uh, basically general work, and, um, having a job, and stuff like that, and you know how the Bible says it's important to have a job, how the Bible says, you know, sloth is a sin. And I'm going to look at some Bible verses that talk about that. So, you know, basically, you know, the Bible says that we are to work six days a week and then and then rest one day a week. So, you know, um, some of us, we all have different schedules um, with jobs and stuff like that. Some of us have a part-time schedule. Some of us... Um, some people work three days a week. Some people work maybe four. I, I, I personally, I work five days a week at my job. Uh, but, you know, it's important that on days that you're off, you know, to be staying as busy as you can, um, except obviously on days where you're uh, going to rest and, and uh, one day a week, obviously, which is traditionally most people would like to do that on either like a Saturday or a Sunday. Um and even when we do rest on those days, we obviously, we don't rest from spiritual work, but we rest from, you know, things like physical and, and, and regular labor, like, you know, our basic uh, everyday jobs. Um, but, you know, for me, for example, like I work five, five days a week and then, you know, I'll rest one day a week and then on another day I'll go out and maybe I'll uh, witness and share the gospel or something like that or maybe I'll move the lawn. Uh, I just always try to find, make sure I'm finding something to do. Um, but, you know, it, it's important to be working. It's important to be having a job because, you know, the Bible says being slothful is, is a sin. So, you know, there's there's verses like Proverbs 13, verse 4. <clears throat> it says, The soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. It says in 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 10, For even when we were with you, this we command you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. And it says in Proverbs 12, uh, verse 24, the hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. Uh, Proverbs 15, verse 19, the way of the slothful is as a hedge of thorns, but the way of the righteous is made plain. So, And there's other Bible verses. There's Proverbs 21, verses 25 through 26, Proverbs 24, verses 30 through 34, uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 10 verses 18 um proverbs 6 verses 6 through 8 matthew 25 verse 26 uh romans 12 verse 11 and many other scriptures it says if any provide not for his own especially for those of his own house he hath denied the faith and is worse than an infidel and that's First Timothy verses five through eight. Um, so you know, if you don't provide for your family, you know the Bible says you're worse than an infidel. Uh, you need to support your family. You need to work. You need to have a job. Um, and there are exceptions, obviously. Um, you know, people that are not physically able or or are not able for whatever reason to have a job. But other than that, you know, you need to have a job. <sighs> So work comes from the fall. It it comes from you know when, well we we work a job to take care of ourselves, uh, to support ourselves, and 
and, and to live and to, um, you know, pay bills and, and to live in your house and to eat food. Uh, this is this is because of the curse. This is because, you know, Adam sinned and and God told Adam that, you know, he would work to the sweat of his brow. So that's how uh, that's the reason why we all need to have jobs and work in, in creation. And obviously, when we, jobs are what runs society, and it's how society functions, and and that's why it's important to have a job. That's why you know, workers that are out there taking care of their families, you know, I, I I commend them, and I commend what they're doing. And I'm also a worker as well, and you know, having a good work ethic and and doing my job well, that's something that's you know very important to me personally. You know, something there, there's, it's important to treat workers with respect because, you know, the Bible tells bosses and there's an authority to uh, treat your servants well and, and, to, and to be fair and to be just. And we are to also honor our bosses, listen to our bosses, and do our job right, do our job well. Um, because, you know, so many people in so many companies, they don't pay people the money that they work for. And, you know, that's a sin. That's what happened to Jacob when he uh, worked for something and didn't receive it. And, uh, and and there's people that get pay cuts and they, and they don't get paid right and, and there's there's companies they just kind of look at people like they're machines and work objects, but you know we are to get pay pay people the wages that they work for. We're to, we're to treat workers re with respect. We're we're to treat the people that work for us with respect because you know they're the ones that are running your companies. So you know appreciate workers and appreciate what they do. And, you know, those that have a job, we are to do their job well because there's some people, they have a job, but they don't want to do anything at their job. They want to, they, they slack off and they, and they be, and they're lazy. Um, and, and, you know, and they get paid and they're robbing money. Um, and the Bible says, you know, do your job well and, and have a good reputation. Obey your boss. Uh, stay out of trouble. And I'm just telling you this, this type of stuff from my own personal experience. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's important to have a good attitude at work as well. Because that's what a lot of companies, you know, they look for. And, and, you know, if you have a bad attitude, if you don't do your job well, you're going to get yourself into trouble. Especially if you complain all the time in the workplace. You know, you, you're going to find yourself, if you find yourself in drama and trouble and you don't obey the policies, um, you know, you're going to be in some trouble. And, you know, and you need to be a good worker and you need to have a good reputation. And you don't, you should never disobey the policies unless, you know, it goes against your faith. Um, because, you know, the Bible says that you need to honor your boss. So, you know, there's a whole bunch of different jobs out there. And, you know, I commend anybody that is making an honest living that is working, it does their job, no matter what that job is, as long as it's not sinful, as long as it doesn't go against God's will, you know, I praise anybody that has a job. Um, you know, obviously there's jobs out there that are not good that, you know, jobs like stripping and prostitution and, um, and wicked jobs like that. And, and there are wicked jobs out there, but you know, there, there's good jobs. And even if some people might consider them to be in, insignificant, if you have a job, you know, I still praise you and I, I commend you and it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if you work in fast food if you work uh, in a factory like me, you know, if you are an engineer or, or if you're a pilot or and there's first responders and, and construction workers, there's uh, marketing, there is sales, there's um, cosmetology, there's culinary, um, warehouse management. Um, no matter what it is, you know, praise God for workers, right? So that's all I got and thank you for watching.